Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today guys, we're going to be looking at Galissapod GX one last time in the standard format. Galissapod GX is one of the unfortunate cards that is indeed going to be rotating with this current rotation. Uh, we do have um, a, we have another Galissapod, but like this is a uh, promo and I'm pretty sure this Sun and Moon promo is rotating. I'm almost certain Glissopod GX is going to be leaving our standard format, uh, which is unfortunate. This was one of my favorite GXs. It's one of my more successful deck GX Pokemon that I've made videos on. My Glissopod Jirachi video is one of my favorite videos I've made this year because, like, that video, I kind of went, like, not viral, but, like, I think inspired a lot of people. But anyways, before again, the video, of course, share to this monster card coming TCG. As always, guys, you're ever looking to get hands on PDCGO pack codes. If you're trying to get unbroken bonds codes, um, and even when unified minds codes go up for pre-order very soon, they're not up yet, I don't think, but when they do go up, you can pre-order uni unified minds codes at Card Cavern TCG and get your trainer kits there too. You get Pokemon GX box codes too over at Card Cavern TCG. If you do end up picking up something from Card Cavern TCG, guys, at the checkout, if you put in the discount code, code LDF, you get a 5% discount on your purchase. So shout out to Card Cover TCG. If you're looking for PCO codes, head over there and get them there. Shout out to them. So now let's look into the Glisspot list. So it's going to be another Glisspot Jirachi list. Um, my original Glisspot Jirachi list was playing Garboder with Trash Lanch. We've taken that out and now we have to adapt to the fire meta, right? Fire types are the big, big hype right now. Glisspot just happens to be weak to fire and it's not good because being weak to fire is not a good weakness to have because of how popular Reshi's art is. So because we're weak to fire, we're going to try to adapt and we're going to run a Slowking line in the deck. We're going to be playing a 2-2 Slowking line, basically just replacing Slowking um, with Garboder. Or replacing Garboder with Slowking, I meant to say. I don't know. It's one of the two. But we're going to use Slowking for Psychic, which we are going to play in Triple Energy, which actually just so happens to be another good card with Glissapod is Triple Energy because you can actually use it with Armor Press and Crossing Cut. But we are going to use Psychic here as a way to deal with Reshizard. Um, everything else kind of stays the same. Again, we have Triple Energy and Slow King in the deck to adapt to the Unbroken Bonds meta. But we still play the Jirachis in the deck. Jirachi is really good. Stellar Wish, obviously allowing you to uh, do a lot of cool things. But again, it's basically just like a Zapdos type of deck. We got Ditto in the deck for like all our boys. Uh, we are going to be playing one copy of Mew in the deck too. Obviously, we need to protect our bench um, from Picaram and other like stuff that gets in the way. Uh, we got one tap of Lele in the deck. And that's it for the Pokemon. Pretty simple Pokemon line. Um, not much else is needed. We've seen a lot of partners with Glisspod. We've seen Garboder. We've seen Zoark. And uh, now we're going to be trying out Slowking with Glisspod, lol. Uh, now we go into the items. We got four copies of Nest Ball to be able to put basics on your bench, a stretcher. Uh, we are going to be playing two switches. Again, we always want to be switching with Glisspod. Not all the time, because, again, you can use Armor Press which is still a pretty strong attack in itself. Uh, we got four Ultra Balls. I am actually going to be running one copy of Life Forest. This is a really cool card with Glisspod because you can actually use Life Forest and you can heal your Glisspod. Glisspod's already a little tanky because of Armor Press. The fact that you can constantly spam Ace Roller. You can also use Guzma a lot of the time to get Glisspod out of the way. So the opponent can sometimes struggle to get rid of this thing and Life Forest makes it even harder for them because you're healing it. Uh, now I'm playing these staple cards with Glisspod. We got our Ace Roller and we have our Guzmas. I am going to miss Guzma. A little bit. I know a lot of people don't like Guzma because it's a very cheap card, but uh, Guzma with Glissapod is one of the best combos a GX card has ever had outside of Reshizard Welder. Um, the Guzma Glissapod combo has been one of the best combos ever, so Guzma will be missed with Glissapod. Uh, we got our Cynthia's, we got our Lilies for draw. Uh, three choice bands just because it's really important for Psychic and also Crossing Cut. Three skateboards. I'm going heavy on the skateboard engine because again, we always want to have something in the active to do first impression. And the energy, we got four grass energies, a little lower on the grass energy side. Um, but again, with Ace Rollas and Guzmas, you can easily loop that. And we can also attack with Slow King with triple energy. We got three DCs too. So that is it for the uh, energy. You could, if you want, run a fifth grass energy. I'm fine with going with four. Four works perfectly fine for me. It worked fine on this video. So we'll roll with four. But again, you guys can run five energies. Also, like stuff like Marshadow can be put in this deck too for Let Loose. But that's going to be it for the Glisspod deck explanation. And now let's get some games with Glisspod one last time in standard. And, uh, I guess, give a final bye farewell to Galissapod GX. Alright guys, here we go. Let's go do some games with Galissapod one last time here in Standard. And, um, we'll see if this new updated Galissapod deck works. I don't know. We'll see. 
Uh, we might be up against a fire deck. Uh, my opponent does have fire within their deck, so they might be playing fire. Uh, we'll have to find out. We are going to lose the coin flip eye. Let's see what we're starting with here. Start with a lone Mew. Okay. So, we'll see how Glispod does here one last time. I think Glispod GX definitely um, will be missed by some people. Uh, ooh, an Eveltal. So, we might actually be up against a Hitmonchan deck. That is my best guess here. Is that my opponent is playing Hitmonchan. We'll see if they are. No, a Porygon Z. Okay. Um... Porygon Z deck. I. It could be a uh, Whimsicott deck. It, I guess it's going to be Whimsicott, but I don't really know what else my opponent's got in their deck other than just, like, the Whimsicott. I don't know. This can be weird. Eveltal gives me a sign that he's got more than meets the eye. Alright, so we'll do this. We'll Nest Ball for Jirachi. Um, there's no point in doing Psy Power, so I'm just gonna Lily for five. I don't want to play the DC either. Not worth it. Um, yeah, we didn't really draw a switching card there. I guess we'll just attach to Wimp Wimpod and pass. Uh, Wimpod can't be knocked out by Eveltal. If, like, somehow he pulled off a Rare Candy Porygon Z Guzman. Oh no, he's got a Reshi's Art in the deck. Well, actually, I say oh no, but we can obviously deal with it because we play Slow King. Uh, looks like it's a Beast Box deck. Or an Ultra Beast deck, I, or a, a, a tag team deck. I Sorry, I cannot talk today, guys. The, the heat has scrambled my brain. It's actually, like, melted it. Um, oh, he does have a Rare Candy. I think he whiffed off the Energy Lotto, so I gotta hope he doesn't have many cards in his hand. I mean, I'm not too scared of this thing. I mean, I kind of am, but... At the same time, we do have a Slow King in the deck for a reason. There's a reason why we play Slow King. Um... What's that last card? Is it a Cynthia? Is it a Lily? Nope. Okay, good. So we have a couple more turns here to try and set up a potential play. Um, okay, there's a Nest Ball. Now here's the thing. Do I get... Okay, I guess we get Slowpoke. I mean, he has one card in his hand. He probably doesn't realize I can knock him out. So I can Ace Roll on my Mew. Um, I can crossing cut my opponent here. I don't know. I could Guzma knock out. I can break out the Porygon knock it out with crossing cut GX. I can knock out the Eveltal too, which actually doesn't sound too bad either. I don't know though, because... I am trying to uh, knock him out with Slow King in the coming turns. Okay, maybe I don't even attack him here? I don't know, this is weird. Uh, I think we'll DC the Slowpoke. Yeah, you know what, we'll DC Slowpoke. I'll just Lily for three. Alright, we did indeed find Slow King. What is pass? Well, I'm knock out the Mew, because my issue is if I attack him. If he has a Guzma in his hand, he can just outrage knock out my Slowpoke. So it just doesn't sound too good. Uh, obviously, Slowking can't knock him out right now, though. So I think we are going to just try and do something here. Uh, there's a triple. Alright, well, Stellar Wish. Uh, there's a Skateboard and Nest Ball. I think we'll take the Skateboard, because we did prize our other Slowpoke. So we'll get the escape board. I might have prized Ditto if it's even in the deck. For some reason, I don't even know if Ditto's in the deck. Um, like, I can hit him for not a, not a, not a, not a, not a knockout. Uh, and then I think I just... I'm tempted to do crossing cut here and play the triple energy. And knock out the Evel Paul. Or the, I'm actually tempted to knock out Porygon here with crossing cut. I think I'm going to take it. Just because we will be able to go in with uh, our Slow King next turn. Hopefully. So I can bring him Jirachi. But Jirachi gets knocked out by Outrage. So I have to bring in the Wimpod, I think. Okay, we got a Choice Pain. So currently we are doing... Um, 
160. So he actually does get knocked out thanks to that rainbow energy. So all I have to do now is just knock this thing out with a choice band psychic play. That's all I got to do. And if the Wimpod doesn't get knocked out for some reason, I'll just Guzma again. Maybe knock out the Porygon or something. But I, I don't want to give up the Glispod. We just got to deal with this Reshizard. I think we'll be okay. So what we're looking at here is Psychic is currently doing... Unless he has a Guzma in his hand, we're going to lose Slowpoke. We got a Stretcher in our hand though, so that's fine. Alright, what's he doing? Just an Outrage. Alright, so he will indeed knock me out, which is what I wanted to do. So we are doing 100 damage with Psychic. Well, actually 100. Okay, we're definitely knocking him out now. We still need the choice man, I think, though. Uh, so all we need is an energy to get a knockout here. I hope we do not whiff it. We're going to go for a Cynthia. We are chilling on five energy in the deck. Not a whole lot of energy, in all honesty. Uh, we'll Stellar Wish. No, nothing really useful there. If we whiff energy, I... I actually don't know what I'm going to do. I might just have to keep Jarchi active. All right, come on. Give me... I need one energy here, and we don't get it. I. There's no way I can Stellar Wish into an energy either. Are you kidding me? <laughs> we whiffed energy. Oh, boy. All right, well... We gotta let him knock out the Jirachi here. There's nothing I can go into. The energy whiff is real. Alright, we'll see if he has a Guzma. I know, like... He does have it. This is... Oh, he's actually targeting Glissopod, though. Oh, I mean, I mean... I see what he's trying to do, but at the same time... Slow King is gonna knock this thing out next turn. Hmm. Did he just put a Beast Energy on his Wish? He's hard. He did. Why would he do that? He could just double blaze me. Oh, he's not even KOing me. Oh my gosh, that was a big mistake. And I can just ace roll a knock him out. Oh my gosh. I actually kind of feel bad. Obviously, the play would be to go into Jirachi, but in the event that he concedes, I want to be ready for that. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know why he did just knock out the Slow King. That would have been the smarter idea. I don't, he didn't do his GX attack, though. I, don't, that, I, I, he, I really don't know what happened there. He could have gotten a knockout, too, on my Slow King if he wanted to. And if he did that, I, you know, honestly would have been in a terrible spot. I actually don't know if I could have won if he did that. So I, I, I really don't know why he did that. But hey, you know what? I uh, might be able to just win the game now. I just need two prizes to win, and that should be too, too, should be too hard. He doesn't have the Porygon Z in play yet either. So it's a good thing to knock it out with that uh, crossing cut play I did. Guzma Galissapod, man. It's it's a combo that will be missed by many. I know people didn't like Galissapod with Zoark, but I, Galissapod just... It's a cool card. Ever since it came out, it made an impact at Worlds. Okay, so he's going to rare candy. Is that last card in his hand going to be a supporter card? I hope not. So, honestly... um, We have a lot of outs here. So he can derail me, but that's fine. I can just switch, knock him out. So it literally doesn't matter. There's our life force. So we'll just do this. Do this. We'll play another Slowpoke down in case we see another Reshizard. Alright, we'll Stellar Wish. Uh, we'll take the Stretcher. Put back Wimpod. And he concedes. Glissopod still has it, folks. Glissopod still has the sauce. Um, Rush, I mean, Porygon Z with, like, a bunch of tag team Pokemon is a really cool archetype for sure. We tried it out twice in two different formats. Um, I don't know. My opponent didn't have, like, any Nine Tails or anything. I think a lot of his deck really relied on, like, just drawing. I, I don't know. It's an interesting list. I, I don't really agree with the Veltal. Personally, I think, I think this list could be a little bit different. I think he needs an Alola Nine Tails. That's coming from someone who played the deck twice. That was a good game. We won a game with Go Glissopod M. We got to use the Slow King in the Glissopod deck to make it work. So that's pretty cool. So see you guys in another game with our uh, Glissopod deck one last time. All right, let's do another game with Glissopod. We're on a win streak. I like to see it on a six win streak. But uh, yeah, Glissopod I don't think is good right now, obviously. But I think 
Glissapod is like kind of gonna be missed because it always was paired with like a different partner. It's like you had Garboder, you had Zoark. You always had some kind of backup plan and Slowking definitely worked in that game against Reshizard, which is kind of cool to see showing off Slowking. My opponent is a smiley face. So we got to give him that heart hello. And we are going to start with a Jirachi. So we'll see how we do here with our hand. I'm probably going to just do Stellar Wish. I don't think I'm even going to bother with Ultra Ball. I don't really want to get rid of anything. I, I'm just going to try and set up a Glissapod. And we're playing against Picaron. And this is not too bad. Going second is not great, though. But uh, Picaron is actually not that bad of a matchup, in my opinion. Uh, in my Glissapod video, back when I originally did a Glissapod Jirachi video, back when like Picaron was new and Team Up came out, I said, beating Picaron is not that hard, because all you have to do is Guzma the Picaron, hit it for 120, and you already set it up to be two-shot. And if you get the first first impression off on the Picaron with your four Guzmas, what does the opponent do? It's like basically Zapdos. That's why I said... Glissapod, I think, can easily beat Picaram. It's not that hard. But no, my opponent's actually playing a Vikavolt deck instead. Which might be a little bit harder. Vikavolt can one-shot my uh, Glissapods. Alright, we'll see how this goes. There's a Guzma. We'll Stellar Wish. We do find a Nest Ball. We can get a Wimpod here. Or I can get another Jirachi. I'm probably just going to get Wimpod, though. We'll skateboard Jirachi. I'll just Cynthia. I was going to Ultra Ball there, get rid of Ace Roll and Triple for another Jirachi, but I would rather just wait. Okay, maybe I should have. Um, we'll get rid of Ch Choice Bait? I don't know if this is a Vika Ray deck. Oh, I don't want to get rid of that. I'm going to get another Jirachi here. All right, we'll get rid of a skateboard then. I'm just going to get another Jirachi. I could get another Wimpod, but I I think Wimpod should be safe. I don't think it'll get knocked out this turn. So, I just want to get a second Jirachi into play. That was a tough discard, though. I don't know. I was thinking of holding on to the Tapu Lele because I might need it. But at the same time, I don't know if it's Vika Ray. If it's Vika Ray, we are going to need that Choice Band for Cross and Cut. So, it's not really a good idea to get rid of the uh, Choice Band there. But at the same time, I sh maybe could have kept the Lele because I might need it for a Guzma. I don't know. Still though, I think it was important to get another Jirachi down. My opponent would need a Rare Candy Vigavolt here to knock me out, and they don't have it. Okay, good. There's Galissapod. Alright, now we need to move Jirachi from the active spot. There's a Guzma. None of those cards are going to give me my out. I would have liked to have actually knocked out the Grub in there. I would have done that. But we don't have that available to us. We didn't get another switching card. All right, so it looks like Jirachi is going to go down here. Whatever. Jirachi did its job, I guess, by doing exactly nothing. All right, we'll see what my opponent does here. Again, I don't know if it's going to be a Vika Volt. Uh, charge a bug deck or he's playing Vika Ray. I can't really remember what types my opponent had so we'll have to see Coco could KO me like I mean we're never gonna we're gonna only have one energy in play but like Sky High Claws maybe can knock me out I don't know I mean I doubt it but we'll see I'm actually hoping we could hit a grass energy here because I can go for like a life force play next turn stuff like that now the Jirachi's always good we can put you down we'll Stellar Wish uh, we'll actually just take the Cynthia. My, we'll just get a new hand. I don't really trust Lily too much, to be honest with you. Alright, will we find a Grass Energy? We do? Alright, good. Um, Do I even want to use my Choice Band of Glissapod? 150 damage. Yeah, we'll just go in with the other Glissapod. I mean, we, have, we have the Choice Band in our hand, it doesn't matter. But I don't want to use this Glissapod. So we'll just first impression for 120. We'll save the Choice Bangles pod potentially for a Crossing Cut KO down the road. So we can Armor Press him here, or we can just Ace Rolla. If we can draw one. We'll see if the Coco does KO me. Again, he would need a Choice Band and two Electro Powers to knock me out. Let's see if he gets it. If he does KO me, that would be huge. We'll see if he gets there, though. There's a Volkner. My opponent might finally be able to get the uh, Vika Volt into play here with the Volkner. Yeah, it gets rare candy energy. He could be playing Vika Volt GX. 
he could Giga Chon my bench, but a lot of my Pokemon have 70 HP, so I don't really mind that. I don't think he's playing Giratina either, so like I don't ever have to worry about that. There's Coke. There's the Vigable coming down, so my opponent might be playing a Rayquaza Vigable deck after all. There's a Radar. We did have the Electro Power. He's actually 10 day. He would have been 30 damage short if he just did the Volkner. He honestly actually could have KO'd me here. I, I he actually could have potentially KO'd me. Um, in all honesty, all right. There's a Coco coming down. Looks like he is just playing a Lightning Toolbox deck with Vigable. He might be playing Pika Ramada's deck too, considering the radar. I mean, if he played Dedenne, what he could have done is honestly done Volkner for the Choice Band or something. Electro Power is already in his hand. He could have dedenne into the Knockout. So he actually could have potentially killed me there. That could have been crazy. So here's where things get interesting. We can knock him out with Crossing Cut GX. Uh, we just need to draw something. So I'm looking for an Ace Roller top deck or something. A DC would be really nice too. No, not on the choice band. All right, we're just gonna Cynthia then and hope to find a DC or triple. Okay, we got a triple. We'll play the slowpoke down because why not? And we'll crossing cut GX. I don't think he's playing Rayquaza, so I could just knock him out freely. We have Ace Roller, so we can just Ace Roller our little spot here. Go into the other one, and we're good. More switches is always nice. So yeah, we can use Slow King too. Like if we ever need to use a non-GX attacker, Slow King won't ever knock him out because it's not, you know, him for weakness. But we can still get a nice chunk of damage on these Pokemon with Slow King and then finish him off with First Impression. Ooh, just an Electro Charger. Double Tails! Yikes. My opponent can do Strong Charge here. I actually should probably do another Vika Volt video on Vika Ray. Maybe Vika Bulu. Though Vika Bulu kind of sucks because it doesn't one-shot tag teams. I don't know. I think I should do a. No, I should do another Vika Volt video. I've, I was planning on doing a updated Vika Ray video because I added in like a lot of. I added in a buzz most of the Vika Ray deck, and I just never made a video on the deck. I don't know why. So, Zeroar is one of the only Pokemon that can kind of get close to one shotting Glissapod here. Um, something to consider. We do a stretcher. Um, and a Guzma. I think we'll take the Stretcher. Nah, we'll take the Guzma. Next turn, we can hit him for 120. We can continually see a Guzma, my opponent. I think that's the play. I'm gonna Ultra Ball away, a Choice Band and a Lily, get another Wimpaw down. Could have gone Slow King too, but you know, who cares? We get him for 150. He has 40 HP left. And I mean, he's in a tough spot. He is in top deck mode. Even though he has a way to get energy into play and attack every turn, it's still not looking great for my opponent. All right, he gets a fan club. He can get like a big attacker here that could challenge my, uh, my Galissapod. He could maybe get like a Shaman. Um, no, I guess it's Zerka Tree. Okay. Yeah, we don't really care about Zergatry, honestly. Zergatry is literally fine because we have enough Guzmas to get around it. Yeah, it's gonna go with another Tapu Koko. So we should live here, obviously. I don't think he ever knocks me out. So here's the only issue, though. I am looking to Guzma the Zeraora up. The only problem is, is I just don't have... Um, I don't have an energy because i would like to use another gliss pod not the one that's heavily damaged uh we did draw life force which is pretty big we actually have enough hp now to take a hit from the coco without a choice band or electro power that's actually hilarious so we're just gonna guzma here bring out that zero aura and we're gonna stellar wish i guess we'll take another guzma because why not We'll see if we live the turn. Uh, we might get an energy off the prizes. If I did prize any of my grass energy here, we could get one off the prizes. And we do. All right, so we do have game next turn because all we have to do is Guzma the other Coco and knock it out unless my opponent plays Max Potion or Ace Rolla. Then we don't win, but we should have game here. We should have game. But yeah, that is Gullisapod, guys. Um... 
Ghost of Pod is still fun. Still fun to play. I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Uh, he's actually gonna go... He might actually lighten me, which will prolong the game. So, he'll actually have the extra turn to... Well, I'll take... I'll need to take more prizes. But again, we have enough Guzmas here to knock out the Grubbin and knock out the other Coco. Um, no, he's actually gonna not... He's gonna do that. I just get rid of a supporter. Uh, but that is gonna be game. We can just do Life Forest. Busted card. And we'll Guzma the Coco. And, uh, we'll give him the well played. GG to my opponent. And, uh... That is going to be game. That is going to be game. Galistapod, guys, not... I don't know. Maybe it's good. Maybe it's bad. I don't know. I feel like we accomplished what we were trying to do. Spam first impression. Do our tactical crossing cut plays. And we even got to use Slowking to knock out a Reshizard, which I didn't really think was going to happen. But I was able to get a game where we were able to use Slowking on a Reshizard. So that was pretty fun. But yeah, that is going to be the Galistapod deck, guys. A uh, bit of a shorter video, but... I do have to make a lot more videos for when I'm away. Because I am going to be away from July 16th to the 30th. I am going to be in Italy. And I need to pre-record a lot of videos so that I can have videos ready to upload. So I can upload at least... I'm going to try to go for every day while I'm in it. I don't know. There's 14 videos I have to make. Currently, I've made four of them. So I need to make more videos for when I'm gone. But yeah, this is going to be the Glissopod deck with the optician of Slowking. Um, and triple energy, I guess, makes Glissopod a little bit better too. But yeah, this is going to be the last Glissopod GX video in standard you're probably going to see from me. So, rest in peace, Glissopod. You will be missed. Um, I don't know, man. Glissopod, when like, it first came out, I was like, eh, it's okay. But honestly, I am going to miss Glissopod GX. I am going to miss it, man. Uh, honestly, like, I find Glissopod to maybe be one of my most successful uh, Pokemon GX that's, like, that I've ever, like, made videos on. Um, I've done, v I've done, like, Glissopod with, like, Obviously, Zoar. I've done a lot of Golly Garb decks. Even in Expanded, Ghost Pod Garb with Seismitoad was a fan, fan favorite of mine. Uh, I made. I tried a Ghost Pod Decidueye deck. Um, Ghost Pod Jirachi was a really successful video of mine. That's one of my. Uh, that's one of my more prouder videos, because that video when uh, was pretty well received. And a lot of people were like, "Oh my gosh, this Ghost Pod Jirachi deck is actually really good." So I, I feel like I started something there. Uh, not trying to be cocky, but uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for Ghost Pod GX guys. You will be missed. Um, I don't know if I'll ever do a Glispot GX video in Expanded because it's not that great in Expanded, but uh, I don't know. We have to wrap up the video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like on it. Don't forget to subscribe to help me on the road to reaching 5,000 subscribers. Currently, we're like 70 to 65 subscribers away from 5,000 subs. So you guys haven't subbed to the channel, help me on the road to reaching 5K subs. Leave a like on the video. Again, make sure to check out the lovely sponsor, Kirk Every TCG, in the description below. Use code LDF. Follow me on Twitter in the description below, too. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.